What are ionic compounds? Well, consider a metal atom like sodium and a non-metal atom like chlorine. We know that metal lose electrons. Now, if you ask me that why metals lose electrons, the answer is simple. Metals lose electron in order to complete its octet rule and get stability. For example, this sodium atom will lose its last electron or valence electron. After losing this electron, positive charge will appear on sodium and it will become positive ion. Now there are 8 electrons present in this shell of sodium. So octet rule of sodium is completed and it is now stable. On the other hand, we know that non-metals gain electrons. If you ask me why non-metals gain electron, the answer is simple. Non-metals gain electron in order to complete their duplet or octet rule. For example, this electron lost by sodium is gained by this chlorine atom. After gaining this electron, negative charge appears on chlorine atom and it becomes negative ion. There are 8 electrons present in the last shell of chlorine. Its octet rule is completed. It is now totally stable. Now listen carefully. This is positively charged ion and this is negatively charged ion. We know that unlike charges or unlike ions attract each other. So these both ions will fuse together to form a chemical bond. This chemical bond between chlorine and sodium ions is called ionic bond. Therefore, we define ionic bonds as the complete transfer of electrons from one atom to the another atom to form a chemical bond is called ionic bond. Remember that ionic bond is also called electrovalent bond. Also remember that Ionic bond is always formed between metals and non-metals. Thus noted down all these important points. Now let me teach you the super easy trick to remember ionic compounds. For example, consider group 1 elements and group 7 elements. We know that all the elements present in group 1 are metals, while all the elements present in group 7 are non-metals. Also, we know that group 1 elements lose 1 electron and group 7 elements gain 1 electron. Now, I will select 1 element from metals and 1 element from non-metals. For example, I take lithium from metals and fluorine from non-metals. We know that lithium loses electron and fluorine gains electron in order to form lithium fluoride. Secondly, I select sodium from metals and chlorine from non-metals. We know that sodium loses electron and chlorine gains electron to form sodium chloride. Thirdly, I select potassium from metals and bromine from non-metals. We know that potassium loses electron and bromine gains electron to form potassium bromide. The lithium fluoride, sodium chloride and potassium bromide are all ionic compounds. Now let me teach you the second type of ionic compounds. For example, consider group 2 elements and group 6 elements. We know that group 2 elements are metals and group 6 elements are non-metals. Now I will select one element from metals and one element from non-metals. For example, I select magnesium from metals and oxygen from non-metals. We know that magnesium loses two electrons and oxygen gains two electrons to form magnesium oxide. Similarly, I select calcium from metals and sulfur from non-metals. Calcium loses two electrons and sulfur gains two electrons to form calcium sulfide. Thus, magnesium oxide, calcium sulfide, etc are all ionic compounds. Now let me teach you the third type of ionic compounds. Consider group 1 element and group 6 elements. 
we know that group 1 elements lose one electron and group 6 elements gain two electrons. Now I will select one element from metal and one element from non-metal. For instance, I select sodium from metal and oxygen from non-metal. Now listen carefully. One sodium atom loses one electron and another sodium atom loses another electron. We know that oxygen gains two electron. So these two electrons lost by two atoms are gained by one oxygen atom. So we get sodium oxide. Similarly, this is lithium oxide, this is potassium oxide, this is rubidium oxide. These all oxides are ionic compounds. Now let me teach you the fourth type of ionic compounds. For example, consider group 2 elements and group 7 elements. We know that group 2 elements lose 2 electrons and group 7 elements gain 2 electrons. I will select one element from metals and another element from non-metals. For example, I select magnesium from metals and chlorine from non-metals. We know that a single atom of magnesium loses 2 electrons. On the other hand, one atom of chlorine gains one electron and another atom of chlorine gains another electron. So a single atom of magnesium loses two electrons and two atoms of chlorine gain two electrons. So we get magnesium chloride. By this way, we get calcium fluoride, magnesium iodide, etc. Thus note it down these different types of ionic compounds. I hope that you have learned all about ionic bonds and ionic compounds.